This morning, we went out into the local area to see what members of the order Orthoptera we could find. The order Orthoptera falls within the division Exopterygota, which is part of the subclass Pterygota. This is found within the class Insecta, and that falls within the subphylum Uniramia. All members of the order Orthoptera are found in grass and other low-growing vegetation. As you can see, members of this order have hind legs that are elongated for jumping long distances. Some males stridulate by rubbing their hind legs against their forewings to create a song. There are four families within this order. The first is family Aquididae. This consists of grasshoppers and locusts. Their antennae are short and stout. They have hearing organs on the sides of their bodies and not on their legs. The tympana occurs on the side of the abdomen. They have a pronotum that has a keel along the midline, which does not extend over the abdomen. The sexes are distinguished in this family by the shape of the hind end, which is always turned upwards in the male. The next family is Tetigonidae. The common name for Tetigonidae is bush crickets. They have short circe. They have a long antennae, which is thread-like and longer than the head and body. The, their females have a large ovipositor. The degree of wing development varies between species, so wings are, are sometimes short and sometimes absent. Members of Tetigonidae have four segmented tarsi. Family Grillidae, more commonly known as true crickets. Their bodies are flattened with long antennae. They have short wings with the bulk of the front wing horizontally placed over the body. Their cerci are long and the ovipositor of the female is long and needle-like. Unlike bush crickets, the tarsi have three segments. The final family is Grillotalpidae. These are known as mole crickets because their front limbs are highly modified for digging. They have a furry body and a long cerci. Their front wings are short and their hind wings extend beyond the tip of the abdomen when folded.